we are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Detective Comics 1017. This issue was written by Tom Taylor, art by Fernando Blanco, colors by John Kellis. Travis Lanham was the letter, Tony S. Daniel and Brad Anderson did the cover. That's a cool cover picture, it looks really interesting. You got like this handprint down there and wonder what's going on. Associate Editor Brittany Holzer, Editor Jamie S. Rich. So a young man runs away from the Martha Wayne Orphanage and Bruce decides to investigate after getting the tip off from Lucius Fox. Now this kid Miguel ran away and Damien is recruited to help track him down while Bruce deals with the regular Batman stuff which is kind of glossed over here. When they find Miguel he's very very ill because he's been out in sub-zero weather for a long time and Batman uncovers some missing kids thanks to Miguel. This is a one issue story that's wrapped up very quickly and is very compressed which generally can be a good thing but this probably should have been a two-parter or at least had the scenes of Batman doing his regular Batman stuff taken out because it really kind of distracted from the story. I don't really think Tom Taylor had an entire issue's worth of story here that he fleshed out. I think he was padding a little bit with the Batman scenes that could have been handled a little bit better and had some of those scenes removed and focused more on the story with this kid. The ending was kind of dumb with renaming the facility. I thought that was kind of silly and Damien has a really weird unnatural pose at the end. It looks kind of strange. I'm not a huge fan of this art. I thought it's just not really my style but there were times when people's faces looked kind of weird it was okay it just wasn't a style i preferred he drew batman really well though when he's in costume it's a forgettable issue kind of a throwaway definitely not worth four bucks like most of tom taylor's work it had a little bit of heavy handedness to it when it could have been a lot more subtle so i would say if you're gonna pick this up get it out of a discount bin for a significantly reduced price it's not worth anywhere near what cover price was so if you come across it in like a 50 cent box i'd say yeah it'll fill a few minutes but it's a very forgettable story i didn't get much out of it like i said the art's okay for the style it's in it's just not my thing so all around i regret purchasing this it wasn't the worst thing i've ever read but it just wasn't very memorable it wasn't particularly interesting for me this issue was a lot like reading a magazine at a doctor's office you were just filling time for something to do while you're waiting to do something else probably something you didn't want to do that'll do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel in other ways links to my patreon streamlabs and teespring store are in the description and as always we hope to see you on the next one